In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Express's free background removal tool for your images. Now, not only is this tool free, but you don't even need to have an account to use it, which is extra helpful. Now, if you are, for example, a Canva user and you create maybe backgrounds or thumbnails for your YouTube videos, then you'll have noticed if you try to remove the background from your images, you can't do this unless you pay for a Canva Pro account, which is around about 10 or 11 pounds per month. However, if that is the only thing you're paying for, so you're paying for Canva Pro just to be able to remove the backgrounds from your images, then you might want to consider using the methods I outlined in this video to use this free tool to remove your backgrounds and then to upload those images to Canva free of charge. And I'll show you how to do that later in this video. So for example, if I have this image here that I've created or used a template in Canva, I really like it, but I want to swap out this for an image of me looking all surprised or somebody else looking surprised, then I can use the tool within Adobe to remove that background and then bring that into Canva to save me some money. Now, let's have a look at how to use this tool within Adobe Express. I am actually logged in to my Adobe Express account, even though I said you don't need to have one, but that's because I'm gonna quickly show you how to then edit your image within Adobe Express for free if you are interested in just doing it all in Adobe Express. But first of all, to remove the background from your image, we need to go to this quick actions area here and choose remove background. Now to save you some time, I'm gonna put a direct link to this tool in the description below. So you can just click on that and get taken straight here to save you some time. Now let's click on upload your photo and we from here need to locate the image that we want to remove the background from. So all we do is either drag the image into here or we click and we are going to locate our image. Now it does tell you here, before I um, bring the image in, it does tell you the format the image needs to be in, it tells you the size, but it doesn't actually tell you here, the image needs to be less than 6,000 pixels. So if you've downloaded a high resolution image or captured on a camera that records quite high megapixels, then you may find that it might be too large and you need to basically downsample it before bringing it in. But generally speaking, it should work with these image formats up to this size. So let's click on browse. And then we're going to locate an image. Now I either have this shocked one or this secret. This is somebody holding up their finger to their lips. Let's use this shocked one in this case and click open. And then basically it's going to do the work for us. So within a matter of seconds, it will remove the background from this image and we will be able to see how it looks. So this image previously had a colored background. It's doing a little bit of work here. It's going to remove the colored background and we should just see the person in the foreground like this. Now at this stage you have two choices, you can either download or you can open and edit in Adobe Express. So let's first of all click download and then we'll see how this looks. So that image has been downloaded and we can see the person here without the background. So from here you can go and do whatever you want with it. Let's jump into Adobe Express to have a look at how we can use Adobe Express to perhaps make some edits. Let's say for example you were wanting to maybe use this for a YouTube thumbnail. So we can just click on open in Adobe Express. You would need to have an account to be able to do this part. So at that point, if you hadn't created an account or weren't logged in, it would ask you to do so. This is just a standard free account that I am using just now. And you will see that the image has been added to our artboard. From here, we could then, for example, change the background color. So I'm going to go into more colors. Let's just go for a sort of bright yellow. And then we can move the position of the person. And then if we wanted to add some text, we could go to text and we could choose some text from here. So I'm just gonna choose this one, for example, and let's just actually leave this. Let's pretend that this is the world's best mum. Of course, we could come in here and make some changes to the text or the colors, or even just to make this text stand out a little bit. I maybe want to just change the color of the background here. So let's just go for this gray color. So you'll see how quick and easy it is to basically remove the background from the image and then bring it in and edit it using Adobe Express. But Adobe Express is essentially the same sort of thing as Canva, so it can be used to design your social media graphics or videos. Now, if you are somebody who prefers to use Canva, then what we can do is we can jump back into Canva and you'll see we have this image here that's been brought in from the Canva Photos library. And in this case, it has watermarks, so we would have to pay 99 pence to use this particular image and remove the watermark. 
what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to remove the whole image. I'm then going to go to Uploads and we're going to use Upload Files and I'm going to locate the image that I've just downloaded. So in this case, it's in Downloads, Shocked Person PNG, click Open and it's going to upload that image of the person that we've removed the background for. It'll just take a little second and then we should be able to click on the image and add it. So you'll see we now have the shocked person brought in and from here we could go to edit image and if we want to we can maybe adjust some of the properties for this one. We could even scroll down and do things like add a little glow around so you quite often will see on YouTube people add glows maybe if we make it like a yellow one or a white one so let's maybe add yellow around this one change the blur change the size and you see we've just put this around and you can resize the image we can even just crop in from the sides here we've got a bit of extra reposition it you'll see i've cropped a bit too far there so we've lost some of the hair so let's just undo that so there you have it so that's how easily you can remove the background from an image completely free of charge using the remove background tool within adobe express is a couple of extra steps but if you're paying around about 10 or 11 pound a month purely to remove the background from your image then this might be something that you want to consider hopefully you found this video to be useful if you have make sure you hit that like button if you're new to the channel please do subscribe because i've got loads more videos in the pipeline for adobe express for canva and for other useful applications and i've already got plenty on the channel itself so be sure to check those out and finally if you have any comments or questions drop them in the comments area below and i'll get back to you as soon as possible but thanks again for watching.